Hi, I'm Wayne from BWC Publishing. Today we're going to make my favorite dip. It's cheese, rotel, and ground beef. Start off with, you're going to need some Velveeta cheese. I love this stuff. Okay. You're going to need some rotel. This is the mild. Now you can use hot or whatever you want. I don't care for the hot myself. So I'm going to go with the mild. Ground beef. Now here you're going to need somewhere between a half pound and a pound, depending on however how much you want to put in it. So that's that. And chips, chips of your choice. You're going to use this for dipping after you've got it made. So this stuff is real good if you're having a poker party or watching a football game or just eating it for lunch. Myself, this is going to be my lunch today. Okay, let's get started. Okay, first thing we're going to do is brown the ground beef. So just like you would a hamburger helper. Pour it in a skillet. Let's crunch it up a little bit. Turn it over occasionally, get it good and brown. You don't want any red meat left. Crunch it up into small pieces. It'll work better that way. Stir it up and get it good and brown. See, it's beginning to brown. Just keep stirring until it's brown. Once all the red's gone, it's ready. Okay, I think we've got it. All the red is gone now. It's brown. We're going to take it off. We have to drain the grease out of it before we put it in our slow cooker. So, Okay, let's drain the grease off. Okay, I don't like to pour this grease down the sink. So what I'm going to do is pour it into a jar, which we can dispose of later. Get all that grease out. OK, 
Okay, we're ready to put the beef in our slow cooker and ready to get started. All right, we're going to pour our beef into our slow cooker, like so. I'm going to use a spoon here because we're going to need to stir it up here in a little while. Okay, let's I think it's time to cut the cheese up and we'll be ready to go. All right, let's cut up the cheese now. There's the Velveeta cheese. Open the box up. There's our package. Okay, let's get it open here. Do is I'm going to cut this up into smaller chunks like so. I'll show you here. It's like that. Then we're going to cut it up into little smaller chunks again like that. See how we're doing this? Smaller chunks. We're going to put that into our crock pot, or slow cooker, whatever you want to call it. Now we're going to put the cheese in the slow cooker. Just drop it down in there. Okay, there it is. Now we put the rotel on top of that. Here's your rotel. Just pour it on top of it. Okay. We're ready to go. Let's turn it on low and let it cook. And once it finally melts, gets all the cheese melted, we'll stir it and mix it all up and it'll be ready to eat. We're going to put the lid on it right there and let it cook. Alright, let's see how it's doing. Yeah, it's beginning to melt pretty good, isn't it? Okay, won't be long, we'll be stirring it. Okay, it's been almost an hour. Let's look at it and see how it's doing. Yeah, it's melting pretty good. Won't be long, we'll be ready to stir it. Yeah, won't be long. Let's look and see if we need to stir it. Yeah, I think we can now. Let's see what we can do here. It's getting there, but it's not quite ready yet. Start kind of mix it up some. All right, let's get it to go just a little bit longer. Alright, let's see how it's doing now. Ooh, look there. Getting real close, isn't it? We can stir it some more from here. Get it all mixed up together. go a little bit longer and we're going to have lunch. It's okay, been about an hour. 
looks like it's probably ready. All right, let's stir it up a little bit more. Yeah, I think it's ready. Yep, I'm gonna get me a bowl of it. It's lunchtime and I'm hungry. Okay, here is the first bowl out. Let's try some of it. Get us a chip. Mmm, that's good. Well, you know what I'm having for lunch. Maybe today and tomorrow. Okay, well there it is. If you make it, let us know how it does for you. Because it is good. And we will see you next time.